This year we celebrate the new movie coming out that the combined bands will be playing Star Wars. Willowbrook. 
Willard Rook, of course, is trying to win their fifth game of the year. If they win tonight's game and next week, they move on into the playoffs with a 6-3 and three record. Kick is deep and brought back at the five-yard line. Now out to the 20 and brought down near the 25. Nice return for York on the return. Number four, Johnny Kilson. You said, you said York. We're still at the York game. <laughs> well, technically, Al, this school was going to be called York West. Oh, you set me up for that. You yeah. set me up that. A little history lesson for you tonight. I actually knew that, and I can tell you, uh, we uh, weren't having uh, uh, <laughs> So Willowbrook, or York West, right. right. <laughs> on the return, and it's brought out to the 25-yard line. Kelso on the return, about a 20-yard return. Of course, Willowbrook is led by their quarterback, Billy Degman, in the shotgun formation. One running back in the backfield, four wide receiver set. Three on the near side. Degnan resets, Jessen in the backfield. As South fakes the blitz, and Jessen will gain about, let's say three yards on that, so second and seven, so Al, a pretty good start. A good return and a three yard gain to get this drive going. Very solid so far, and a good gain on that uh, handoff to Jack Jessen in the backfield. Sophomore's doing a great job of running back this year. Jack Jessen, who finished in second place in wrestling last year as a freshman. How about that? Went to the championship match and uh, lost by just a couple of points. So second and seven, and uh, at the 25 yard line, as Billy Dagnan, straight shotgun, nobody in the backfield. Dagnan runs, and he'll get to the 32 yard line. That was impressive. It looked like he was going to be brought down for a sack, but Billy Dagnan improvised and got the first down. Good uh, cut, uh, blocking by the uh, line there for him to get him some space. And then when it broke down, he was able to find a hole to get out of that, uh, that sack situation. Billy Dudman showing his athleticism on that play. Seven yards on the quarterback seat. That's enough for a first down. That's a 32. Dagnan in shotgun formation. Jess in the backfield. And a hard count by Dagnan there. He's trying to draw Downers Grove off sides. Keep that in mind throughout the game. As they're going to probably try to do a hard count throughout the game. Try to draw the Mustangs off sides. Mustangs showing a blitz. And flag on the play. Probably going to be a false start against Willowbrook. Ooh, he, did, he didn't he didn't give us the number he gave us the position a very uh, formal way of doing it by the official and the other thing I like I haven't seen this before is the uh, referee has Mike why not that's awesome it's awesome for the fans to know what the call was I like that I wish they would do that more in high school football uh, second um, third and long here for Willow 10-30 remaining in the first quarter. Jess in the backfield. Four wide receivers set. They've been doing that formation all day. Degnan in the shotgun formation. Fakes the snap to Jessen. Throws. Beautiful pass and completed at the 40-yard line. That ball was thrown right away from Degnan to his wide receiver, number one, Mark Fuller. And you look at uh, Billy Degnan, six foot even. He had the, the, the line of sight over that line, which made that pass happen. It was not a long long pass downfield. That ball was a rocket. Right up the middle. Jessen past midfield to the 46. Beautiful run there by Jessen, but even better by the offensive line. He had a huge hole there. He did, and they're on the move now. They're going quickly here. No auto. No auto offense. Four wide receivers set, two on each side. Degnan gets the snap, gives it to Jessen. Jessen, another nice hole. He's got a couple yards on that. And Al, besides that uh, quarterback pressure on Degnan earlier, this offensive line is not giving an inch to the Mustang defense. No, not at all. They're making good uh, holes for the, the running back to get through Jack Jessen, and uh, this is looking good so far. They're giving Degnan plenty of time in the pocket as well. Second and seven at the Mustang 44. Degnan fakes a snap to Jessen. Another nice pass and dropped the ball. Kelso dropped the ball. He's a junior. Stands at 5'11", 165 pounds. So third down here for Willowbrook. And that would not have gotten the first down anyways. It only would have been for a couple of yards. I hope they have a, a good strategy here because we don't want to lose the momentum of this drive, uh, the first drive of the game. Uh, let's get some points on the board this time around. Third and seven. Three wide receiver on the near side, one in the slot. 
in the slot is Josen Murphy, he's a senior. He's a little guy at 5'9", but he's got a lot of speed. 9.31 remaining in the first quarter. Nothing, nothing is our score. Dagnan in the shotgun. He's got plenty of time. Finds a receiver. And finally pressed down at the 31-yard line. On the reception was Ronnie Wright. I like these receivers getting open as well. They've got good uh, lines with the quarterback. Well, once again, Al, the offensive line is setting the tempo. Dagnan had plenty of time to find his third option on that play. Run up the middle for Jessen. Finally brought down at the 21 yard line. He almost broke that. He almost broke that into the end zone. What a great play. Smash mouth football, Al. You gotta love it. Back to the basics. Right up the middle. Don't be too cute. Just pound it right down their throat. Second and short. Under nine minutes now in the first quarter. And Jessen will get the first down. Keep the chains moving near the 15 yard line. Nothing, nothing is our score. But the Warriors are threatening. They're in the red zone now. Great job so far. The ball is really moving down the field quickly and, and in an organized way. That's a good job. Degnan, shotgun once again. They're going with the spread offense tonight. Ooh, that was a dangerous pass. That was almost picked off. Great job reading that for Downers Row South. And uh, that was. Number two, we'll get, a, we'll get a name in a second here, but that was a great read by the defensive back. And you know that Nick Hildreth is probably telling his team and Dagnan before the game, don't throw interceptions. Whatever you do, don't turn the ball over. So watch that. Uh, we might see some safe passes, nothing too uh, uh, it, uh, towards the middle of the field to try to throw interceptions. Here again, we see the offensive line standing up and looking towards the sidelines. And what we're doing here is the coaching staff is looking at the defensive formation to figure out what play they want to run. Second and 10 here, and Ale, they've been doing that hard count all night, trying to draw the Mustangs offside. Dagnan, plenty of time to the end zone! And even if he caught that, Ale, it looked like he was out of bounds, so that would have been a third down even if he had caught it. Yeah, that was uh, well out of bounds, and no uh, uh, effort by that uh, wide receiver would have br brought that ball in for a touchdown in the end zone. So third and long here at the 15-yard line. It's a cold day, Al, but there's not a lot of wind. So is this still a field goal formation for the Willowbrook if they don't get the first down here? The American flag is limp behind the, the uh, upright, so I think, yeah, they should kick a field goal if they can. But let's see what we got here. Third and 10. Mustang showing a lot of fake blitzes. So uh, it's kind of a chess game, Al. Uh, Willowbrook with a hard count, and the Mustangs faking some blitzes trying to confuse Willowbrook. Screen pass. He's got plenty of room at the five, at the three, at the one. Touchdown, Warriors. Beautiful play call by Nick Hildreth. Excellent call, excellent call. Oh, I thought he was in. I guess they uh, got him at the goal, uh, at the uh, half inch line. The, fan, the fans don't like the call, but there's no red challenge flag in high school ball. Yeah. Hey, don't feel bad. Everybody here thought he was in the end zone. <laughs> I thought he was in. Let's get him in now. First and goal at about the one yard line. Pass, sorry, run to Jessen. One yard run. And the only people that are crying in the stands are people that have Jessen on their fantasy team because it's less points for a one yard touchdown than a 20 yard touchdown. But it is points and points for the little bit <laughs> Of course, I'm kidding. Unfortunately, there is no fantasy football for high school football. Let's start one. You and I, we'll start. We should, right? We should. IHSA high school fantasy football. <laughs> Six nothing is the score as Willowbrook trying to make it a seven nothing game on the extra point. Snap is good. Kick is blocked. There's a flag on the play. And a flag on the play. It might be offside against the Mustang. Let's wait for the call. I want to hear that official mic again. That is awesome if he does it. And I like this, Al. They're taking their time, making sure they get the call right. This is a crucial call in the game. Personal foul. Preliminary call against the Mustangs. Ooh, so that will bring the ball closer to the goal line. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I don't care. That's awesome. It is. That is awesome. That we're doing I was going to say that brings the ball closer to the goal line. I was wondering if they might go for two, but I think this is the safe move. Just get the extra point, go up seven. 
Beautiful line drive kick that had a lot of power on it. Seven nothing is our score. You're watching a broadcast of Willowbrook football here with Willowbrook Television. And welcome back as we're looking at Nick Hildreth and hey, oh, that was a great play call to set up the touchdown, a screen pass on third and long, and Jessen almost scored a 15-yard touchdown. What a play call by Hildreth. Oh, it's a great play, and uh, now we got a uh, kickoff. Let's see how the uh, special teams can defend the return. This has been one of the areas where the Warriors have had some trouble with other, other teams throughout this year, so hopefully they can uh, put them back in their own territory and keep them there. Willowbrook's got a good kicker. He's only a junior. His name's Mike Dembowski. And uh, it was a really windy night last time we were at Morton, and Dembowski was fantastic. He had a lot of spin on the ball. Check that out on this kick as he kicked the extra point before he went to break. An outside kick, and it's recovered. Oh, it was in the hands of Willowbrook, and he dropped it. So, a risky play call, but I like it being aggressive and trying to get the ball back to go up 14-0. Play football. I mean, that you don't count against the defense as far as uh, of the special teams as far as field position right now. It was a real gutsy move, uh, but that's the way you play this game. you got to play it hard. I like the play call, though. They, they just scored a touchdown. Downers Grove South looked like they, they uh, the intensity was lost a little bit on defense. Why not try to get the ball back? A, a defense that's already tired, but it just didn't work out. Downers Grove South has the ball. So Willowbrook now on defense. Playing quarterback tonight for Downers Grove South. Uh, number 11. Takes the handoff. He's got a nice pocket. Screen pass. And a bunch of blue shirts. Originally brought down. <laughs> Gain of three there. Second and seven. As the, P as the public address announcer is helping me out. Yes, that always helps from the PA guy, who, by the way, is Coach White, Bill White. He's an awesome teacher here, an awesome athletic uh, supporter and coach. Elijah Rochelle on the tackle. Second and seven for Downers Grove South. And fakes and gets the handoff. The pulling guard on the play, has got some room, breaks a tackle past the 40. And now at the 35, that was a beautiful run there for Downers Grove South. As Downers Grove South looking good on the opening drive, their quarterback is Riley Eby. And on that run was Brandon Biederman as first and 10 here for Downers Grove South at the Willowbrook 34. I called our PA announcer Bill White, that's a, a former baseball player. This is Jim White, the PA announcer. James White, first and 10 of the 34. Another handoff, past the tackle, and gets to the 20 yard line. A couple of big runs, and they have a lot of speed on this Downers Grove South team. This is what we don't like to see. We don't like to see the uh, defense falling down here and letting the ball move down the field so quickly. They've got to have good pursuit and get to the ball quicker. A couple of big runs, and they're showing their speed. Those are right off the tackles. They're not up the middle. We'll see if Downers Grove South continues to utilize that in the game. This one, a fake run and a hard shot. Ooh, I hope Heavey's okay. He took one right in the back. Al, that's why they say football is a tough game. Heavey took a shot in the back. There. Good tackle there, right uh, uh, in the open field, and, and that's what you got to do. You can't miss those. So Heavey takes a shot, and he's all right. Second and eight for the Mustangs at the uh, Willowbrook 18-yard line. Three wide receiver on the near side, one in the slot. That's number 25, Brandon Peterman, who earlier had a great run, about 15 yards. Shotgun formation, one running back in the backfield. He's got a nice pocket, plenty of time, and it's completed there to 16. And another big play, Peterman once again. They can't find an answer for him, Al. He's all over, catches passes, runs. So far, he's the all-star for the Mustangs tonight. Yeah, doing a good job on uh, down to South Mustangs, moving the ball downfield after the... Uh, Onside kick that went their way. Good field position they're taking advantage of. The Mustangs at the 11-yard line. And let's see if Willowbrook can battle down and try to force a field goal instead of giving up a touchdown. Three wide receivers on the far side, one on the near. Running back, running play right up the middle. Peterman, touchdown, downers drove south. And that will tie up the game, assuming the extra point is good, so... Risky with the onside kick. Willowbrook almost got it. 
didn't, and then Downers Grove South made him pay right down the field with some beautiful runs. Yeah, we got to uh, show up the defense here. Uh, you know, onside kick or, or not, you got to be able to stop the, the offense of Downers Grove Mustangs, and so far we have not done that. So extra point attempt, and deep for Downers Grove South is the quarterback. How about that? He's the quarterback and the place kicker. He's he, an all-around kid. He wants all the points. He wants all the glory. 7-6 is our score. Kick is up and no good. So Heavy misses the extra point. 7-6 is our score. You're watching the broadcast of Willowbrook football here. And welcome back. I'm Kyle Smith along with Al Stash. As Willowbrook still leads 7-6, but Downers Grove South went right down the field to score that touchdown. I don't think that Downers Grove South is going to do an onside kick here, but you never know. TV deep, and it's a nice kick to about the five-yard line brought back by Willowbrook. Now at the 20, at the 30-yard line, he's got a hole, and it's brought down near the 34, Kelso on the return. So Willowbrook has good field position. They're at the 34-yard line, which means 66 yards for a touchdown, and it could happen. They scored a touchdown on their last drive to open up the game. Well, so, so far, we haven't seen any defense on either side. So let's hope that that continues right now as the uh, Warriors are on offense and uh, have a chance to score again. All they do is, have to do is, like you said, move 62 yards. <laughs> Billy Degman gets the ball. Jessen right up the middle, but he's brought down right near the line of scrimmage. Great penetration there by the Mustang defense. They did not give it in. Jessen was brought down for no gain. Well, that time Jessen went to the right side, and every time he ran the ball on the previous possession, most of the time, it was to the left. So I don't know if they're just testing that side of the line or they'll go back, but let's see what happens on the next play. Kelso in the slot. Watch out for Kelso. He's got great hands for the Warriors. Seven sixes are score. We're at the six minute mark of the first quarter. Degman's got a good pocket, goes out to the right, and then brought down from behind, but the strength of Degman is able to go forward, but nonetheless it's a sack, and here comes the Mustang defense. They struggled on the opening drive, but they're starting to show some good play right here. Yeah, the, the uh, time in, in the pocket for Degman there was pretty quick, almost uh, like the Chicago Blitz that we do indoor. Uh, they've got just about two seconds to get the ball away. Third and nine here for the Warriors, and as we've said, uh, the Warriors are going to try to eliminate turnovers, so they're not going to force any throws tonight. As the play resets, once again, there is no uh, there, there is no headset for the quarterbacks. They look to the sidelines for any audibles or any change in schemes during the play. Third and nine at the 36-yard line. We're at the five-minute mark of the first quarter. Degnan behind the pocket, and the pass is dropped. And a uh, tough drop there, but it happens. It's a cold night, I can understand it. And <laughs> I also think he saw the two defenders around him. He might have been sandwiched there if he caught Yeah, they were circling. <laughs> uh, I would have had a little uh, jumpiness in my hands, too. 5.07 remaining, and I don't even think he was, he, he would have gotten the first down even if he had caught it. It, was, it would have been close, so fourth and eight here for the Warriors. As exiting the field, for Willowbrook is Mark Molitor. Fun formation, Dembowski for Willowbrook. As Dowers throws south, we'll get the ball here. Dembowski, and it's a short punt. And it's gonna go at the 40 yard line. And it's gonna take a Willowbrook bounce and goes to the 30 yard line. So Dowers throws south, we'll have the ball at their own 30. We'll see you back watching the broadcast of Willowbrook football here with Willowbrook Television. Downers Grove South has the ball back. They went all the way for a touchdown on their first drive of the game. Running play right up the middle, and he's got a hole. Beats the safety. One safety to beat. And run down at the 13-yard line. Ale, these tackles are just making mincemeat of the defensive ends of Willowbrook. They just went right near the sideline where the tackles are, and that was a big game for them all day. Like we saw at Morton uh, in the first quarter uh, a couple of weeks ago, the same type of play right down the far sidelines and uh, for a big game. Blake Freco on the run, and uh, he's having a great game along with Biederman, so the Biederman-Freco duo is making a lot of trouble here for the Willowbrook defense. 
First and 10 at the 18 yard line of Willowbrook. One running back in the backfield, four wide receiver set. Low snap. And brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Great hit there. And maybe that'll bring some intensity and momentum back to, uh, to Willowbrook. On the tackle was Brandon Jones, a senior. He's a big boy, six foot three, two thirty-five. Nice job by Brandon. So second and long here for Downers Grove South. There's Fraco, he's back in the backfield for the Mustangs. Evie takes the snap, fakes to, to Fraco, and brought down the five yard line. And Fraco fell, but it looked like he just tripped there. Nonetheless, it's first and goal for Downers Grove South. And you got to be impressed so far from what you've seen out of the Mustangs. They've just been able to drive right down the field with, without, uh, not a, with, with less ease. Yeah, they have uh, really been able to move the ball quickly downfield. A couple of big plays, but uh, even the, the shorter plays are uh, effective for them, and they're moving the ball quickly, and now they're in within the five-yard line, first and goal. First and goal, goal yeah. First and goal at the five-yard line. As, uh... Willowbrook calls a timeout. Good uh, decision there by Hildreth. You're watching a broadcast of Willowbrook football here with Willowbrook Television. And we're back off the timeout. First and goal here in Downers Row South. Hildreth called a timeout there because he saw a split back formation in his defense. Was not ready for it. Four wide receiver set, two on each side. There's the running, there's the play to Biederman and beautiful open field tackle. And, and uh, looks like it was 51 on the play. And that would be Rochelle, Elijah Rochelle. Uh, so that'll make second and goal here at the two. Sorry, no, Joey Pol uh, Palumbo. 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 Palumbo, yeah. Joey Palumbo on the tackle. Running back off the guard. And that'll be a touchdown for the Mustangs. So, now the Mustangs have the lead. I don't think they're going to go for two, though, because then if they don't get it, they're only up five. Interesting call here, though. Do you think they're going to go for two here, Al? I don't know. I, I, you know, the way uh, their offense is moving the ball, I would say just kick it. <laughs> uh, so far, the Warriors have not been able to stop anything uh, on the uh, Downers Grove South Mustangs. So they're going to kick. <laughs> Riley Heavey, the place kicker, he's also the quarterback on the Mustang team. Heavey, the kick, straight up the middle. The kick is good. 13 to 7 is your score. You're watching broadcast of Willowbrook football here with Willowbrook also. Downers Grove South here to kick. Heavey, the quarterback and the place kicker. Heavey's done a good job, Al, but it's really been the running back duo, uh, duo of Downers Grove South that's really created problems for the Willowbrook defense. Yeah, we got to do something to stop uh, their offense. But right now we got a chance to get some points back if we can get good field position and move the ball the way we have been moving it uh, on offense as well. Biederman is, is one of those running backs and Blake Braco, the other one. Okay, let's go south. Bad kick picked up near the 15-yard line. Kelso and then brought down at about the 29. So 71 yards for touchdown for Willowbrook. Degnan back down the field for the Warriors. The offense has looked great for Willowbrook. It's just the defense needs to get a little bit better going forward in the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on the first possession, we were able to move the ball quickly and score. And uh, some real good plays, bass and run. Uh, second time around, not so much. But uh, I think we still have it in us. Let's see what happens. One in the slot here, and that's uh, number 23. Drops the ball, picks it up because it was behind the line of scrimmage. Trying to bring it back up, hit hard, and brought down at about the 27. That'll be a loss of two for Willowbrook. A very smart decision there. That's definitely senior leadership at its finest. A sophomore might have just thought it was an incomplete pass, not picked that one up. And yeah. that could have been a touchdown the other way for the Mustangs. Absolutely, especially in that at this uh, position on the field, in our own uh, end of the field, uh, in our own territory. That would have been a horrible move, but he didn't do that. So Joseph and Murphy was able to know what was going on. It was a pass behind the line of scrimmage. Degnan in the shotgun. And that one's picked off. Reading the screen beautifully was Jay Matthew Marley. That's a, how about that for a name? Matthew Marley is a cool name. Jay but Matthew here Marley. Are, here we are now. Downers Grove Mustangs are on the uh, uh, Willowbrook 20-yard line uh, on an interception that was right in the hands of the, the uh, defensive lineman. 
Uh, we really need to stop here. Yes, we do, Al. Yes, we do. I put the ball on the 20. It's actually on the 24. And interceptions are going to happen. That was just a great read by Marlin. He read the screen the entire way. Now, Degman's a senior. He should probably read that, go to his second option. But that was a great play. And sometimes you just got to hand it to the defensive player. Yes. At the 24. So let's see if Willowbrook can step up their game here and hold them to a field goal or less. Beautiful pocket. Got plenty of time. Completed to Biederman. He's brought down near the 18-yard line. So that'll be second and four here for Willowbrook. Number 65, Brandon Loth on the tackle. Brandon Loth on the tackle. He's a sophomore. He's a big kid, though. Six foot. He's only a sophomore. Second and short here at the 2-11 mark of the first quarter. As uh, Fraco is back in the backfield. I'm sorry, that's Biederman. Biederman is back in the backfield for the Mustangs. Evie gets the snap. Once again, he's got all time to throw. And he's brought down near the 12-yard line, first and 10 for the Mustangs. But a flag on the play. Let's wait to see what the call is. The Warriors could use a uh, little help here on penalties to see if they can't move that ball back and out of the red zone. Al, what advice would you give the defensive line for Willowbrook? Because Heavey's had all the time in the world to throw the football. I don't know. I, I think we have to start blitzing. Uh, I really do. We have to start uh, taking chances and getting to the quarterback. And, and if it's not a pass play to get in the backfield and start you know, slowing the run down. Uh, I don't know. I, you know Coaching staff is going to take a long look at this and see what we can do because this is important to the Warriors. Clear run, puts the foul. Big pass and a defense number five. Headlines half the distance to go. And this is when all of that hard work in the summer, all of those drills really come into play for your defense. Can you hold the offense to a hold field goal? Hold that line. Hold that line. This is key. If you can hold to a field goal, you're still in good shape if you're willing to. Right off the guard and is able to get an extra yard with that strength. So once again, Downers Grove South in position and maybe score another touchdown here. Wozniak on the tackle for the Warriors. So a couple of different styles. Willowbrook is more of a uh, hurry up offense. Downers Grove South taking their time. A lot of runs and short passing play. Three wide outs on this side. Three wideouts on the near side. Shotgun formation and read option and Willowbrook run it all the way. Brought down by the Warriors. First one on the tackle was number nine. <laughs> number nine. <laughs> number nine, not on the media guide. Darn it. Third and goal here at the five yard line. Evie in the backfield, sorry, Evie the quarterback, takes the shotgun snap. Corner pass, dropped, that would have been a really tough uh, catch though. Dropped by the wide receiver, fourth and goal, and I haven't seen them go into a field goal formation. Okay, now they are. But, uh, so they're, so yeah, the most things are up by six. You would assume they would pick a field goal, but we saw earlier with that onside kick, does Mark, Molinari and Donner's Grove South have something up their sleeves with a fake field goal here? I'm kicking the ball. <laughs> you got to be able to kick uh, field goals in this game, just like any other level. So uh, I'm saying give the uh, place kicker a chance to score some points for it. So, TV is the quarterback and the kicker on this Mustang team. As he looks to make it a 16-7 game for the Mustang. Snap is good. Kick is a beautiful <laughs> kick. 16 to 7 is your score. We'll be back with more action. We're watching broadcast of Willowbrook football here. And welcome back here at John A. Fisher Field as Willowbrook trail 16 to 7 to the Downers Road South Mustangs. You know, the Mustangs came to this game 2 and 5, but the way their offense is playing, Al, you wouldn't believe it. No, no. Uh, their offense has moved the ball almost uninhibited on every play, and. Uh, I don't think they've had many lost plays, if any, so far this, this first quarter. Kickoff, and they're going to let that go out of bounds. So, that'll mean the ball is at the 40-yard line. A great 
for Willowbrook. They'll have the ball at their own 40-yard line. Al, you've got to admire the athleticism of Riley Heavey. Not only is he taking the pressure of being a signal caller, but he has to make all of these field goals for the Downers Grove South Mustangs. How about that? I don't know. You look across the field, and as, as you do on our side, there's like 50 players on a team like this. There's got to be another guy that can kick. You know, I mean, let the quarterback quarterback and someone else can be your, your place kicker. It always reminds me of Walter Payton, who one game they put at quarterback because they ran out of quarterback. And actually, Payton had a good arm. He threw a couple touchdowns with the Bears during his heyday. I believe it. At the 40-yard line, sorry, no, 35 for Willowbrook. And a gain of about one for Wilbrook. So I apologize. In the NFL, it's at the 40-yard line. In high school, it's 35. I think we'll let it go. <laughs> I, I believe in college, it's at the 42. If it's kicked out of bounds. Second and nine here. A nice pocket for Degnan. Finds a receiver. And he breaks the tackle. Oh, my goodness. And we got it on camera. Oh, my goodness. Call ESPN. That was fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Broke the tackle. Josen Murphy all the way for the score. 64 yards. Oh, my goodness. That was fantastic. How did he do that? Ali just broke a tackle and went all the way for the touchdown. That's all that work in the weight room, just keeping him up. Because he did, and he didn't go down right away, and uh, the defense gave up on it, and he got away. Those squats really come in handy on a play like that. That was just amazing. The kick is good for Willowbrook. They're back in the game, Al. 16-14 is our score.